I think uh, while a Google search engine or others like it um, can get you to the sources quickly, um, evaluating bias and other judgment is, I think, that's a skill that a teacher librarian brings to the fore. It's important for Indigenous students, um, particularly young Indigenous students, to update their skill set in the the cyber world <laughs> um, because there's a lot more jobs got leading down that way that are requirements and uh, it is the way of the future and this is where we're going so we do need to keep on top of these skills. A lot of people come through their schooling and they actually don't know the best way to research things you know you can get to university and you still don't know the best way to take notes the best way to look things up because it just gets bypassed it's not necessarily anyone's specific job um, and I think often we don't we don't realize that we don't know how to do it so we're wasting so much time trying to find the information that we need when in fact it could have been simple if we'd been taught the right way to do it, it could save us a lot of time. They also tend to be really good at information technology and that side of things. Um, often the person in the school who understands new information technologies best besides the IT department if the school's lucky enough to have one is the teacher librarian. Last week I had coffee in a coffee shop run by a very lovely young man who believes everything he finds online. And in the last year, he has been desperately afraid of the end of the world seven times. Um, there has been a meteor, there have been aliens landing, um, there has going to, uh, I forget what the other end of the world crunches have been. Um, this is what happens when you can't tell the difference between good data and bad data. We are awash with bad data at the moment. The more social media that we get, the more social media platforms we get, and they're proliferating very, very quickly, the more bad data we get. When I was a child, basically, you had books and newspapers. Um, these days, there are so many places that kids are exposed to where you get bad data. Um, if we don't want a population who are building nuclear bunkers in their backyard every three months, um, we need to teach them what is good data and which is junk food data.